Hey everyone, this is the Door Dasher guy. How's everyone all doing today? All right, guys. So today we're gonna be doing a real uh, Door Dash delivery. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do one. Um, so that way, if you guys are brand new and you guys want to see how it is first before you guys join DoorDash, or if you guys already joined DoorDash and haven't done a dash yet and wondering how to do one. Right now, I'm gonna be doing a couple of dash today. This morning, it's actually only seven o'clock right now, guys. So it's, the sky is still pretty dark, okay? So sunrise hasn't even sunrise yet, okay? So maybe another 30 minutes. Uh, but today, guys, uh, we're gonna be doing a real dash. All right, guys, so I am scheduled to dash in downtown South Natomas here in Sacramento at 7 30 a.m to 3 p.m okay i'm probably just gonna dash till about 11 but right now it's 708 normally uh doordash is gonna allow you to go ahead and dash now uh 15 minutes before okay right now it's 709 um my dash is 7 30 but at 7 15 this on the bottom there you see where it says schedule right here Right now, it's not gonna let me dash because, you know, it's not time yet. But normally, 15 minutes before, they're gonna let me dash. That schedule button is gonna turn into dash now, okay? So we're just gonna wait another six minutes. So we're at 7.14 right now, guys. So in about a couple more seconds, that schedule button right there is gonna turn to dash now. And I'm going to show you guys right now once it hits um, 7.15. Sometimes it takes a little slow, okay, to, uh, to change. But it should change very soon here to dash now. Sometimes if it doesn't change, you guys want to refresh your system, okay? If it doesn't change, just go out and then go back in, you know? There it is, guys. Now it says dash now. So we're going to go ahead and tap on dash now. And then once you tap on ta uh, dash now, it's going to ask you to get ready for your dash, okay? So you want to have your phone charge, enough gas, red card, and you have your hot bag and all that. So we're going to tap on all of them. Okay, so before you can dash, you got to uh, acknowledge these. And then go ahead in the bottom. You want to put... Uh, start dash and then once you press start dash um you just wait for the order and that's it it's a little early right now guys so not probably not going to be too many orders but the good thing about dashing early in the morning is not too many dashers yet because most of the dash are still sleeping okay so that's why i really like to do it early in the morning and then get it done by you know by 12 or 1 but today i'm just gonna dash till by 11. all right so right now we're just gonna sit and wait for orders to come in okay and then right now they actually allow you to reset your acceptance rate so right now i'm at 34 and it says raise your acceptance rate to 50 percent to get priority on higher paying orders um i'm not gonna accept this i'm just gonna leave my rate as as the way it is all right, so now just wait for the order. And then if you guys can see right there, right now I, I am at $0 right now, okay? It's gonna tell you on top how much uh, money you've made so far. Uh, we haven't made anything yet because they haven't done any deliveries yet, so nothing yet. So right now it's 7.20, guys. So it's been about five minutes and no deals or no orders has been coming in. So normally I give it about five to 10 minutes in one certain area. If there is nothing, I usually move to a spot where I know that's busy. Um, and then I'll park there and then we'll wait for another order. But uh, normally I don't really want to go too far, okay? You guys don't want to be driving around town just to pick a spot. You should know already, you know, where you should park. So right now it's, uh, like I said, six minutes Oh, there we go. There is an order that just came in, guys. 
let me turn on the the ringer real quick here so the funny thing is i was about to go to this mcdonald's right here because i know that it's really busy and it's 3.3 miles for eight bucks i'm gonna go ahead and take that and then sometimes i would scroll in to see where the house is you know if it's a house and if it's the amount of money is good then i would take that okay and it seems like this is an easy one so we'll go ahead and take it so you, all you got to do is just press accept okay and then once you press accept on top it's going to tell you eight dollar for this order and it's going to tell you where to go mcdonald's and then once you get there go ahead and tap in direction it's going to show you how to get there and then once you get there you just pick up the item and then you just deliver to the customer all right so let's go now all right guys so now we have arrived to the mcdonald's all right so we just arrived to a mcdonald's if you want to get more information you can scroll up and down okay so that way you can see more of what they want you to do so right here that's the address upon arrival parking and all that stuff and it's three items okay normally i don't really uh take this mcdonald's too much too often but if it's still early in the morning it's not that busy i'll take it after nine o'clock or ten o'clock it gets super busy and i try to avoid this mcdonald's as, as much as possible because uh they take a long time here and sometimes you'll be waiting here for like 20 or 30 minutes wasting your time but for me in the morning it's okay because right now as you guys can see the whole parking lot is empty so it's telling you uh, there are not that many people here, so we should be good. All right, so let's go inside. Also, once you arrive to the McDonald's or to your destination, make sure to put arrive to store, okay? So then that way, uh, they're going to give you a next step. So go ahead and tap on that. And it's going to tell us exactly what we need to pick up, okay? All that right there. But usually the McDonald's, they put it in a bag, so it should be easy to go. And then pickup time is 727. Hopefully by the time we walk in there, um, it'll, it'll be ready. All right, let's go. Okay. And then I wanna mention that if you go to McDonald's, most of the time, they want you to give them the order, the last three of the order number, okay? So this one is 458. Some of the other restaurant or most of the other restaurant, you just tell them the name of the customer, okay? But this one, you just give them the order number. That's usually what McDonald wants you to tell them, okay? And then once you get it, you wanna match it, 458 with the bag. And there you go. We matching it, 458. And then once you uh, confirm that you picked up or confirm the order number, when you pick up, you wanna go now, we wanna go ahead and press confirm pickup. And then it's gonna ask you again, confirm order was picked up. After you press confirm pickup, it's gonna tell you where to go. I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna show the customer's address, but this is what it's gonna tell you. If you look, at the messages it's going to say leave at my door please don't ring bell doorbell when you are here thank you so make sure to follow this instruction okay so all you got to do is leave the food at their door take a picture and you're good to go okay so now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go to the customer's house and once you go to the customer's house when you're there you want to press arrived at you know I'm, i've arrived at customer so that way it pops up another screen for you to confirm that you made the delivery. All right, but right now we're not there yet. We're gonna head out right now. Crossing drive. And then I wanna mention to you guys that uh, when you pick up the order already, it's gonna tell you your order, okay? $8 for this order and then this dash is $0 because this is our first dash. But once we finalize the dash, that $8 is gonna go to the right side, okay? All right, but anyway, we arrived at the customer's house, so let me show you guys how to finalize the deal, okay?
All right, guys, so once you take the picture and you submit it, now it's gonna tell you that you made $8 right there, okay? It will also tell you the details on the bottom as well right here. Delivery complete. So the base pay was six bucks and the customer actually tipped me $2. So we got $8 total, which is not bad at all. And then all you gotta do now is press got it and you're on your way to the next delivery or you know, wait for the next, next delivery that pops up. All right, but right now we're out of zone right now, okay? But it's gonna try to still find orders while we go back to our zone area. All right, so let's go ahead and press got now and let's head out. And there, that's it. That's it guys, that is how you do a DoorDash delivery. Pretty much simple, eight bucks for 15 minutes. Not bad at all, right? If you can do like a couple of those, you can make more than $20 an hour. All right. All right, guys, so here's another order that just popped up while I am driving. The same McDonald's for $5.50. And it's not too far, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept it. All right, guys, so here is that McDonald's order again that I just picked up. Same area, same McDonald's and everything. This one is $5.50, okay, and it's 3.1 miles. The reason why I chose this one is there are basically many reasons. One of them is because it's early in the morning, and sometimes, you know, you may or may not get an order for a while. So I'm just gonna take it anyways, cause it's 550. Um, the second reason is because I was driving to the McDonald anyways. And so that's considered some distance right there. So once I'm at the McDonald's, um, the mileage should be a little less going to the house because I was driving to the McDonald's anyways, you know? So I might as well take the order. And here we are, we're at the same McDonald's again. Okay, we're at the same McDonald's again. So 550 guys, I know it's not a lot. I don't really do too many of these $5 deals, but in this situation, I'll go ahead and take it because like I said, I was driving to, to the McDonald's anyway, so it's actually not too bad. And then the pickup time again right here is 756. And right now we're at 753. I mean, sometimes the order is done. Sometimes it's not done. Uh, so if you guys uh, don't want to go in there and wait too long, just just go in there around 756 and hopefully it'll be done. Okay, sometimes this McDonald's right here uh, takes forever, but it's early in the morning. So nobody's here yet. So I'm assuming it should be ready. So I'm going to start going in right now. And then make sure you guys press arrive at store. Okay, so that way it shows you the next step. Okay, so once you press arrive at store is gonna tell you what's inside the bag or what's needed to pick up. And like I said, I like the McDonald's because they already put it inside the bag for you, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to like look at it. And if you deliver it and if it's wrong, it's not your fault, right? Because it's sealed up. So that's what I like about McDonald's. What I don't like about McDonald's sometimes is the wait time. All right, let's go inside. All right, guys, so once again at a McDonald's, make sure you got the right order, okay? D15, D15, we're good. Because there's times where if you pick up the wrong bag, the customer is gonna complain, okay? So make sure you double check the, the order number before you pick it up. And then once you pick it up, make sure to press confirm pickup. Confirm pickup. And then once you confirm the pickup, it's gonna show us what to do next, okay? So this one right here also says leave at my door or leave at the door. This one has a lot of instruction. It's gonna tell you a lot of things here. So make sure you read the instruction, okay? So it makes it easier for you to deliver it. Like for this person right here, leave at my door. Once you're in front of the office, make a left. Keep going straight, you'll be facing a garage. Park in front of the garage, don't turn right. Walk up the path of your left hand side of the garage. I am upstairs, first door by the stairs. Okay, so sometimes like customers like this, I like because they give you exact, you know, exact directions on how to get to their place. A lot of times, if you're uh, delivering to a, uh, an apartment, well, this is an apartment, all right? Uh, 
a lot of times a lot of the the customer they don't want to tell you they just make you go find it you know which is pretty tough sometimes but this one is pretty good so we're gonna head out now All right, guys, so that order was actually pretty easy, okay, because the person provided really good instruction on how to get to their apartment. So it was really easy. And now our delivery has complete. So this one right here, guys, I didn't get any tip, okay? I mean, that's okay. You know, sometimes you're gonna run into some of these customers, but the payout, 550 is actually not bad because sometimes they're only gonna pay you like three bucks, you know? But 550 isn't too bad, even though there is no tip. You're gonna run into some customers like this, okay? But uh, it is what it is. We'll go ahead and press got it. And now we're just gonna wait for another, another deal. All right. All right, guys, and then once we are done, it's gonna tell us our total pay for those two dashes, okay? Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all for $13.50 for about uh, less than an hour, okay? Even though it's an hour, but it's less than an hour because I was sitting around doing the video, so it killed some time. Um, I would say total dash hours was probably about 30 minutes or 45 minutes. That's it for $13.50. Not bad at all. Sometimes we make more, sometimes we make less, but it is what it is, and you get to do it when you feel like it. No boss is breathing on you you know all right guys so that is how you do a real doordash order okay so i just want to recap there's a deal just coming in right there but it requires a red card and i'm not gonna take it all right guys and i will talk to you guys about the red card order in another video so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out that video okay but anyway that is how you do a doordash order uh just a recap like i said uh first you schedule your dash unless you have a dash now button on your in your area you can dash anytime uh right now it's hard to get a dash now because it's saturated with doordashers right now um you basically log on and you uh, turn on your app of course just like earlier and you wait for your orders and then once you pick up the order you deliver it to the customer and then you would want to take a picture of the item or the the food and confirm and you're done okay some of the orders you just leave at the door there are some orders where you actually hand it to the customers both of our orders today we just leave at the door which is easy okay uh, some orders are easy, some orders are hard, some orders are okay. The two orders that we did were not bad, it's okay deal. Uh, usually the apartments are harder, but if they give full instruction how to get to their apartment, it's easier, like that other person earlier, uh, which is not bad, even though we didn't get any tip, but it's okay because the payout was reasonable. $5.50 is reasonable, you know, usually they only pay you like $3, but... Uh, and then even if they give you tip, let's say they give you a $2 tip, it's gonna come up to be $5 anyway, but this payout was good without tip, so no complaints. And I was driving to McDonald's anyways, so might as well just take it and make an extra 550, why not, right? Because I'll be driving to McDonald's anyway um, and stuff. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how you do a real DoorDash order. Hopefully you guys learned something. And there it is again. It's the same order because I didn't uh, acknowledge it. <laughs> so if you didn't acknowledge it, it's thinking that you still want it. So it's popping up again. I don't want it. It's a red car order. Uh, but anyways, I'll be doing a lot more uh, DoorDash uh, videos, okay? We're doing a lot of tips and tricks. Talk about the red car order, just like this order that just came in. Uh, I normally don't take DoorDash orders. Uh, and we'll do uh, videos on five things. I like about DoorDash, five things I hate about DoorDash. We'll talk about the, uh, the the fast pay and all that and a bunch of other videos on DoorDash, okay? So don't miss out those videos. Make sure to subscribe, help my channel out, right guys? It doesn't cost you any money to subscribe. 
And anyways, hopefully uh, this video today helped you out. I will see you guys in the next video. Happy dashing, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.